Good evening, everyone. Right now, it's in the wood on January 10th. Uh, the most fashionable Able sister, Label, is visiting us today. Uh, she says she needs volunteers. So, I hope you have the loveliest of lovely days. Oh, it is a Monday. So, um, paintings restock today. Because I was trying to think, like, what painting did I buy? I bought, the, I bought a fake one, like I always do. You know, I think I bought the uh, lupus one. Bottle. Uh. Hmm. So just to talk in Animal Crossing for the moment, about Animal Crossing for the first time in like, I don't know, forever. I realized, yeah, now that we've finished the Happy Home Paradise, I've kind of like... Like, tech, again, we're not done. We're going to keep going back there. We'll see if anything happens. But I've kind of like, oh, now that we've got this, like, tournament festival thing, that's basically the end. Um, what am I supposed to do now? Because I've still got about two months to kill. <coughs> Ugh. What am I supposed to do now? Until we get to, you know, either 100 or, um, again, th the th two year anniversary? I meant two year anniversary, I almost said three. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Because it is a lot of Animal Crossing. I mean, I know we have to redo certain things on the island. I know, I know. I'm the worst. Oh, I saw the money tree up there. Let's go grab it. Like we gotta, like I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna make the garden smaller. I'm gonna change a few things. Once we get the right DIY, I'm changing the house. Or at least I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to end up changing two of the rooms. Like, I'm not redoing... Like, I'm still happy with our back room. The living room I need to figure out. But, you know, I don't really consider that in, like, grand changes. I'm talking more the basement. And doing something with, um... Either the studio or the clothes room. Like, we don't really use the clothes room. But I still kind of think it should be there. You know? Like, I... Theoretically, it's a good idea. Oh, I like this one. Oh, that's cute. Snookums. It's cute. Oh my god, I need to sneeze so bad. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's get this. <sighs> yeah, just... I, and I know I had other ideas. Some of them were stupid, and, like, I'm not... Like, there was one idea that was just stupid. That would be, like... It would be a decent, like, start to an episode. But that's it, and I don't know if we'll ever actually do it, because it was really stupid and like the moments now passed like I, I really should have done it on um, a specific date and then I just missed it god remember when I was gonna do a f an intro for um, season two and then I just completely forgot well and I ran out of time like you know I was gonna work on it all the day that the deal that the update came out and ah what a pain Oh 
but I think that's all four. Yep. fossil let's go get these fossils turned in again i have i haven't messed with label in so long so it's not worth my time just fossils So, I've been thinking about getting into the musical sex, you know, about uh, King Henry's wives. Because, so, like, I don't go out of my way to, like, listen to new musicals. Like, I, I it's more I let them come to me. The one exception was Dear Evan Hansen, and I don't want to get into the semantics of why that is the exception. Yeah, I don't go out of my way to listen to musicals. But, I, but, you know, along the way I find, like... Like, usually I let, like, stuff come to me. Because I don't use, uh, Spoofy. I just don't. Instead, I just have YouTube music. And, you know, they'll autoplay stuff. Sometimes you just get garbage. But every once in a while, you get something good. And, like, that's how I found things. That, that's how, like, things like Hades Town. Um. Yeah, Hades Town. Um. Oh, gosh. What was the other big one I was addicted to for a while? I don't remember, but, um, I was going, I was listening to, right, I had music on while I was working on something, and, um, a song from Six came up, um, and I was listening to it, and I was like, yeah, this is, this isn't bad, it was, uh, Don't Lose Your Head, and I was like, yeah, yeah, this isn't bad, I also need to get into, a, is it Amelia, because that's also, that also came up, but I've only listened to, like, uh, one song. But yeah, I was like, I was listening to it, and I was like, oh, huh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't bad. The texting lingo is kind of, like, not what I would expect, but that's fine, you know? So yeah, I listened to that, and then, um, and I heard, like, one other song as well. I think one other one came up after that. Don't remember which one. And I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll finally get into six. Because I've, I've heard about it before, but I've never actually listened to it. Because, yeah, like I said, I don't go out of my way with musicals. I usually let them come to me, per se. And now I know that means I'm probably missing out on all sorts of things. And, yeah, definitely. But, um... Yeah, I would... I was thinking about that, because I've talked about how I'm, I'm a musical person. I'm actually going to go see a musical um, in theaters. Or not not in theaters, but, like, at the theater. You know, like, see it, like, on stage later this month. But, yeah, that happens later this month. Oh, oh, they're both real. A real Rosetta Stone and a real whatever this thing is. At least I'm, pr I think the fake version, I'm pretty sure this is real. Because the only fake version I've seen doesn't have like the artichoke on the heart or whatever it's supposed to be. So this has to be the, the real version. Because I don't think there's any other like different fake variants. 
and this Rosetta Stone isn't blue. So we got two real paintings today, neither of which I give a shit about, because we already have both of them. We probably have the Artichoke one at least two times over. We need to clear out my fake paintings. The problem is I just kept mixing them up. Like, I've mixed off so many real ones with so many fake ones that I couldn't tell you which ones were real and which ones were fake anymore. I really should just be trashing them every time I buy them. Because normally you're not supposed to buy them, but you kind of have to to cycle paintings. Yeah, may maybe we'll do a paint. Maybe we'll do an art day and just go through all my paintings and see what's real, what's fake. You know, find what's some find something borrowed, find something new. Okay, this is a bad fortune. Probably. Oh, wait, okay, because we're, we're talking about tools breaking. I was like, oh, this is going to be bad belongings. But, no. Because, yeah, a, a good belongings, I think, give you unbreaking tools for the day. So I guess that's good. And that guarantees us a rare island. Now, normally I don't really actually care for rare islands. Let's let's go to the happy home paradise first. Let's go to work. It's nice that we can just come from here to work. I, I wish you could use Dodo Airlines tickets like that. You just go talk to him and he'll just take you to another mystery island instead of having to cycle through. I wish you could just buy tickets at the goddamn airport like you can with the boat. Like like that should just be you should be able to go up to the Dodo and be like, "Hey, here's 5,000 points. Give me a ticket." More DIYs. So we gave him iron, so this is going to be like iron walls or something like that. Steel. Yeah. Ah, hey, they kind of just look like stone. I know the stone ones were like white or something, but still. Alright, let's see who do we got here. We got a hamster, a goth cow, a cat with a weird face, Julius Caesar, Ave de Kaiser, a bird, and a rock star kangaroo. Huh, neat. There it is. Oh, look at that. That's cute. I wonder what type of home uh, Kaiser wants. Would he want like a... Like a palace or... I know I could easily find out, but that's also kind of boring. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, I was... If it was more, then maybe I wouldn't have, but... <coughs> I'll wait. True to Kaiser. I'll wait. Stone and iron. Okay. Again, we'll just have to remember to bring that tomorrow. Because I just, I forgot about this box for so long. But yeah, I know, so I, gotta, I gotta start bringing it now. Yeah, let's head back. I don't really care. And then we'll go to the island. <sighs> 
So, as you know, I, I got a bunch of board games for Chris for the Christmas. And one of them was The Crew. Now, I had heard that The Crew was, like, one of the best board games in, like, recent years. In, like, the best board game of 2020. So, I was curious. Right? Oh, yeah, of course I'd be curious after that. It's... And so I, so I picked it up, and we I finally played it yesterday. It's... A, it's... It's one of those things where it's like, okay, when you hear one of the best board games, you know, I picture something mo a little bit more, like, complicated, you know, a little bit more to it. I guess I picture something like, I don't know, like Wingspan or Scythe. Gosh, I, I wish I had picked up... I was gonna pick up Scythe, and I just didn't. I wish I had. But, um... I'll wait for it to go on sale again. But, um... Yeah, when, when I heard, I was like one of the... Right, I picture stuff more along those lines. I don't know why. Because, like, I'll, mostly I play party games and stuff like that. So when I think, like, oh, well, board game, I think... I guess that's more of, like, what I go to. Which, I've again, I've heard both Wingspan um, and um, Scythe are, like, amazing games, by the way. Like, I've heard great things about both of those. Gloomhaven, I guess. Even though, again, I, that one's, I think, expensive as hell, if I remember correctly. But The Crew is a trick-taking game. It just, it's like, a, it's like a set of cards, a set of, like, 40 cards, another smaller set of, what, like, 30-something cards. And, um, then, like, a few tokens, and that's it. It's a trick-taking game. So I was like, huh, that's that's interesting. for To be called one of the best, like, games of... Tw to be one of the best games of 2020. I was like, oh, okay. And again, I've heard great things about it. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll pick it up. And I finally played it yesterday. And yeah, it's good. I get like... Oh, yeah, these are bamboo seeds. We're gonna have to dig up all of these. Also, one of, one of these should be bamboo seeds, if I remember correctly. The motherly statue. Bamboo shoots, there we go. But yeah, so I was like, oh, that's... Okay, so this is... Right. And you're basically... You're trying to, like, do tricks to complete missions. So, like, oh, there's... Like, so... Basically, what that means is you have to, like... Like, you'll play around... And, like, one player will have to get a specific card to win. And you all win. It's not versus each other. And I guess I don't really play trick-taking games like hearts or spades or trump or whatever. Nope, I don't play any of those. So I haven't played a trick-taking game in who knows how long. But, um... So, yeah, I was like, okay, but it's a cooperative game. We're not working against each other. We're working with each other. To try to, you know, get this trick done. So, like, one of the first rounds, it was like, oh, well, you have to give one player, like, the the yellow seven or whatever. And so you have to do a trick where they are able to win the round by playing the highest card to get them the yellow seven. And, yeah, it's, it's stuff like that. Which is, right, it, in some ways, it seems deceptively simple. But it, we, uh, but I like there are over fifty like different missions that are like fifty variations. So it's fifty variations, just using simple mechanics. And we played through the first like eight. And yeah, we had some fails along the way where like we had screwed up, and it was like, oh, there's no way for us to get this person this card. Like, um, like there was one where like. I needed to get, like, the pink three, okay? And this was, like... And it was... So, one of the other things that can happen is, like, you have to give certain players different cards, but maybe you have to give them in, like, a certain order. So, one player has to do it first, another player has to do second, another player has to do third, or there was one where one player had to do last, so you had to do them last, but the other two you could do in any order. So, we had to give me the pink three first, the problem was another player needed the pink seven and that player had to get it third. 
And I had the pink three in my hand. And I also had the pink one. So every other player had pink cards and only one of them had the pink two. It became impossible for me to get the pink three because it was like, oh, well, nobody has the pink one and I have to win this hand. And eventually my thought process was like, maybe if I run the other players out of pink cards, that'll be the only option left. But I couldn't get rid of the pink seven because, you know, the pink seven had to be given to a player third. So it just became right. It became impossible. And when it becomes impossible, you fail the trick. So that was really interesting. And yeah, it's stuff like that that I find, right? Like that game, like we had to do that one several times. I think that was mission like eight or something. We had to do it several times because it just like we weren't getting good hands or there was one where, um, oh, they, they had to give, they had to give me a, like a blue something or other. I only had a single blue card in my hand that was up the first turn and then it just became impossible and then i couldn't win anything because there are like these trump cards that are like these rocket ships that you can use to win a hand and i didn't have any so it then became the only way i could win the card i needed like the blue whatever was if i played the hand and they didn't have anything they could play so they could play it and then i could win it and that scenario just never happened like, I, I tried to get it to happen, and it just couldn't. Oh, we need to check turnip prices. 121, okay. That that means either fluctuating... That, that means fluctuating, just straight up, I can tell you. As someone who can see the future, I can tell you right now that means fluctuating. Okay. So, yeah, it, it was in... As for, like, a simplistic-looking game... I think the variation is very good. Because, again, there's 50 variants. And I just think there's a lot of potential. And, yeah, there's 50 missions. I've done 8 so far. We did Because we took a few tries on that 8 one. And so we only... We did up until 8. 121. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's still a possibility of a large spike. We'll know... Oh god, it'll be in the mor if it if it does happen, it'll be in the morning. It'll be in the or no, it'll be okay. No, no, actually, I was I read that wrong. It'll be tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so if there is a large spike, we'll know tomorrow. But yeah, so so the crew was interesting. Um, again, there's 50 missions, so there's still a lot to do. And then I know the crew released its first expansion, which was like deep sea diving or whatever. That came out last year. And I heard that one's also really good. So, yeah. If we keep playing it, eventually I'll probably pick up that as well. well. Do I say it's one of the best card games I've like ever played? Or one of the best board games or whatever? No. But, again, we're only, I'm only 8 rounds in. And there are like over 50. But I think it totally has that potential. I should just do a gyroid room. Like, if we look at all these gyroids I have. Where are they? Like, look at all these suckers. See, I just need, I need infinite of these guys. These squeakoids. I've seen people do squeakoid rooms. It's the cutest thing. Squeakoid. There, there's some cute ones. Where's the Brewster one? I think that's either... There it is. Bruce droid. There are some cute ones. Arfoid. Oh, look at this little pouty one. That's cute. Yeah, we should totally do a music room. Not right now, but maybe eventually. Oh. Spikenoid. Gosh, I have a lot of tarantulas. I still... We could go catch more spider crabs right now. I think they're... I Maybe... No, maybe they're not in season until next month. Or... I know it's sometimes, like, in the winter. At least I think it is. Maybe it's February. I, st I still love these things. Those and the turtles. 
are like the two best things in this game. Oh, hey, somebody's over. I really need to destroy the Snurch. Like, we just destroy all those snails. And then just call it a day. Hey, Sidopolis. Still need to figure out what we're going to do with this main room. Like, I, I've got nothing at the moment. Again, I'll, we're, I think on the 12th. So, on Wednesday, we'll do it. But, you know, that's Wednesday. Tomorrow? Oh, what am I going to do tomorrow? You know what I should do tomorrow? How you doing, Stadopolis? Yeah, take care. So, yeah I, yeah, I really... Again, I don't think we have much to do today. Just because, you know, I'm not... I don't know. I... Let me let me look at my list of things to do. So I almost started Dark Souls. I know I said I was going to do an indie game first. And I almost started Dark Souls. But then I was like, nah. I still want to do an indie game first. Okay, let's see. New updates. To, you know, I'm going to mark off Happy, Happy Home Paradise. I'm also going to mark off new update stuff. Okay, we need to do that. We're working on paintings. We need to do that. Again, I need some DIYs to do that. We're technically not done with that. Honestly, I don't have that many things left in this list. There's like one big project. A few long projects, you know, like the paintings and whatnot. And then there's a few small projects. Oh yeah, I just added to our original series to-do list. Yeah, we don't really have much to do. Fascinating. Isn't it isn't it fascinating? Like truly. Oh, we we've done so we've done over 67 things so far in the series. That's a fair bit. I mean, it's not like an insane bit and again, there are other people. Oh gosh, we should visit a dream island. It's been a while, you know. We're not going to, but we should. So, I'm going to sit down in this chair. Oops, wrong one. And instead, we're going to transition. Ooh. Ooh. Here we are. Yep, here we are. In the real world. <sighs> so. Like I said. Dark Souls. I hate this box. I hate the Like it just says Dark Souls Remastered. And it's weird. Because when I put it in the PS4. It like gives me the option to buy the full game. And I'm like what? That's that's dumb. Like this, this is the full game right? This is Dark Souls Remastered. Like I'm not. I don't know. I pick. I picked it up, and there's my collection of PS4 games that I've been amounting for forever now. I just don't have a place to put them. My where I put all my Switch games, that's full. I've run out of room for Switch games. I seriously have. Like it's bad. But um, oh, and then so I mentioned in the Christmas episode that there was something I got that I wanted to show off, but I think the reveal is like worth more than just like actually saying it and i never did but it's right here you want to see what i got for christmas i didn't get an xbox i didn't get a playstation i got google stadia the premiere in gaming the best possible gaming thing you can get google stadia the streaming service that google is totally supporting you know, that they put out new games on all the time. Look at it. A Google Stadia controller. Premiere Ultra to the max. Look at how... I, feel, I mean, I guess it's fine. Again, it's more like a PlayStation controller than anything else. But the DualSense is so much better than this. Oh my gosh. 
But yeah, I got myself a... Yeah, it is basically a PlayStation controller. Looking... Looking at them. Yeah, yeah. It's even got, like, some of the same buttons and everything. The PlayStation and the Stadia button. I don't know why I did them on opposite hands. So, I picked this up for, like... I bought stupid shit before. Like, I bought a Steam controller for, like, two bucks. I bought one of those, like... Not a Steam machine, but, like, a little... Like, the little stupid Steam dongle that you can hook up to, like, a TV to, like, stream games. I bought one of the, those for, like, I think five bucks as well. And I bought this for a few bucks. I And the only reason I bought this... Because it comes with a uh, Chromecast Ultra. Which, if I remember correctly, the Chromecast Ultra is like the 4K Chromecast. And while I don't have a 4K TV, maybe I will one day, I don't know. But I saw that, that the, it comes with a Chromecast Ultra, and I was like... You know, 20 bucks for a Chromecast Ultra? That's not bad. I think they normally go for like a like 100 something. I was like, yeah, that's that's not bad. And I do want, and like, I, I will... I, you know, I can always use another Chromecast. Because, you know, I've got more than enough monitors to do it with. The other thing, though, is, as you know, I have a collection. I like to collect weird and stupid sodas. I actually, norm normally my collection's over here. Yeah, it's actually not here anymore. I actually cleaned out. All I've got is my Garbo mug. Oh, you know what I... So, AGDQ is going on right now. This is my good luck, bad luck. This is the good luck, bad luck um, speedrunning coin from AGDQ. You know what? I don't think I've ever showed these off. So... Um, so I got into D&D &D last year and I needed a dice set. I needed to get a dice set for a bunch of people. So I bought one of those cheap dice collections and this is, I, I, I guess you can't really see my set. I guess I'll just show off the D20. This is the one I picked. It's like purple. It actually looks pink and like with the, with the light. But it's purple and white. It's a very simple set. They're not, again, they're just cheapo dices because I needed to get dice sets for like a bunch of people. I don't think I've ever showed them off. Yeah, they look pink in the light, but normally they're they're actually like a purple and white. But yeah, so that's that's my cheapo D and D dice set that I always that I got that I that I've used once. Again, I'll probably do another game of D and D one day. But yeah, my soda collection usually was right over there. I actually moved it. It's now over there. It's on a it's on a shelf now. Yep, I bought myself a shelf. But I've got this uh, Mountain Dew Spark. So this is a flavor that was exclusive to Speedway, Safeway, one of those like gas stations. And it came out a while ago, but you know, I guess it was really popular. So they decided to like put it out there. So like you can get it, I think nationwide now. It's kind of like that Major Melon one, which, ah, eh, my can's over there somewhere. So I don't have, I don't even see it from right here. But yeah, it's kind of like Major Melon, where they're like, oh, the, out of all the flavors, this is the one they're going to make nationwide. I don't know. I, f I find that interesting. I don't know if it's a limited time thing. I don't know if it's a new permanent flavor. But I saw I saw it at the store today, so I was like, yeah, sure, let's pick it up. So it's Raspberry Lemonade. I mean, I taste the lemonade, definitely. Raspberry lemonade. I, it's got that lemonade-y flavor, that's for sure. Raspberry? And I, I really like raspberry. Like, I've, out of all the jams... Out of all the jams... Raspberry is the best one. Is that like a... Yeah, there's a, there's even a freaking car on it. Again, I think it was like Speedway or Safeway or one of those gas stations. It's 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 basically Lemonade Mountain Dew. Which I know Mountain Dew is already like a lemon-lime soda. I, was, I moved my entire can collection. Oh my gosh, so many of them are Mountain Dew. Because not that many other... Like, Dr. Pepper has only ever done like two limited editions and i could never and i never got a can of the cherry dr pepper or not the chocolate dr pepper i mean and the only other one they've ever like they've ever done is dark berry coke has only done like like two or three um cinnamon uh new coke pep same thing with pepsi pepsi's only done like three fire blue crystal they're re-releasing crystal 
I think because I think it's Crystal's anniversary this year, so they're re-releasing Pepsi Crystal for a little bit. Go pick up some Pepsi Crystal. It's really good. I mean, it's you know for like Pepsi products, it's one of the better ones. And it, it's just Pepsi, but you know, I think it's neat. But yeah, and then like everything else up there is Mountain Dew. Like seriously, it's Mountain Dew puts out so many of these. And it's like the it's like the only sodas I drink anymore. Cuz you know, you buy a 12 pack of cans and then you're stuck with like I still have like a few gingerbread ones cuz I have nothing else to do with them. But yeah, that's that's interesting. Would I recommend it? I think there's also a diet variant. I I don't care about any of that stuff. That's like I, I again. I don't I don't know where I'd like rank it on Mountain. I've had enough flavors that I, you know kind of funny ones did a Mountain Dew ranking, and I've never known like where would uh, where would I do my I know Baja Blast is at the top. Because I know at their top, they did um the peach one, the KFC exclusive. And I had it. I just don't like peaches. I think that was my problem, is I don't like peaches. But yeah, this is like, this is, this reminds me more of like a standard Mountain Dew. It's, it's, it's a definitely lemonade. Whereas Mountain Dew's lemon line, but yeah. Yeah, it's definitely better than like the Maui Burst or the Tiki or the, the not the Tiki, the Baja Flash. But yeah, and it's definitely below like a um a, ba a Baja Blast and the Baja Punch. At least one of the Voodoo's. Yeah, it's it's whatever. But you know, I try out weird sodas. I do it all the time. That's one of the, like that's like the only non um amiibo thing I collect. Oh God, there are new amiibos coming this year. Steve, Alex, Min Min, Mithra, Pyra, uh, Ka Ka Kazuya? Ka is, it, is it Kazuya? And then probably, we'll probably get what's his, um, Sora next year. If we get a Sora amiibo, we probably will. So legitimately, that's all I, I, I knew today was going to be a short night. Um, tomorrow, maybe we'll go through our paintings. Like, if, if we open up my storage here, I gotta stand up. Um, look at all these paintings we have. And we're gonna have to go through them and fi Oh my god, I have two very- I knew I had at least one. No, we have two. And, like, there are some where you can, like, tell- like, this is real, this is fake. Um, I can't tell with these three. I want to say this one is real, but these two are fake. It might be the other way around. No idea. I think this one's always real. Um, these look the same to me, so I think they're both fake. This one's real. This one's real. This one is real. This one's fake. These are both real. Um, probably those are both real. That's real. Or, that's fake. That's real. That's real. I bet all of these are fake. Okay, we don't have that many paintings, so it'll only probably take us a few minutes. And there, there are only a few that we have to actually look into. But we'll, we'll look into them tomorrow. And we'll find out which ones are real. I, like, I have good guesses for all of these. I've seen these paintings enough times. Oh, and that's not even including statues. Which we only have two of? And, I, again, I think both of these are real. I don't know about these ones. Maybe those two are fake, I, actually. Maybe the antenna make it real. Here we go. We have all these, which... Again, I, like, legitimately, I think all but one of these is fake. And, or all but two of these, I guess. These two. God, and it still pisses me off. I got... I finally thought I got a real one with this one, and then nope, it was fake. God, we have so many discus throwers. And again, I think they're all fake, but we'll we'll check it tomorrow. But yeah, so that's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll just paint painting investigation. 
I don't expect it to amount to much, but, you know, gives us something to do. As always, we'll go check the Happy Home Paradise. He wanted, what, stone and iron, speaking of? We'll just put those in our inventory now. And then on the day after that, we'll, um... On the day after that, we will, um... We might sell turnips tomorrow as well. That's also a total possibility. Um, and then the, d the day after that, we'll do the house. I'll, I'll figure out something. I don't have any good ideas at the moment. But at some point, I will figure out what we're going to do with the house. Yeah. But yeah, um, I think that's where we're going to end off. Or that's where we're going to end off for the day. I always say I think. I don't know why. Um, did I do... No, I just... I played the crew yesterday. Played the crew. I've been watching some Let's Plays. Um, alright, correction. I've been watching, um, Mark Blyer's three-hour stream. I finally started that, and... You know, I'll finish it eventually. It's just... It's it's long. Oh, I, I kind of want to go see Spider-Man again tomorrow. Uh, I, I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I've, I've been waiting to show off that Google Stadia thing since the day I got it because I knew that would be because I got it like right like I think like the day before Christmas I don't know like I said 20 bucks for a Chromecast and a controller that I might never use that's not a big deal for me I mean I haven't used that I don't even know I have a good idea where that Steam controller is I never used it I always just used an Xbox controller because I liked I liked how the Xbox controller felt better but I have, and I'll never buy a Luna controller. Nah, fuck Amazon. Uh, but yeah, with that, uh, I mean, we technically did a thing today, but I knew we weren't. Um, with that, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.